In a previous tutorial with Rampant Design Tools, I showed how to use the matte transitions, which is a video with an alpha channel. Now, occasionally, video doesn't come with an alpha channel, but you still want to use it in that way. Now, I'm on rampantdesigntools.com, and if you go to the bottom, as I've shown before, 4kfree.com, you can go and download some items and use them. Now, some of the things I've downloaded from here are style mats. Now, style mats are fantastic. Issue is they don't come with an alpha channel. So how can I use that inside of DaVinci Resolve? Now, there's a couple of ways that we can actually do this. Let's uh, create a new timeline. So let's use the same footage. This is Art Beats footage. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to create a new timeline from selected clip. And I'm going to call it a style mat. Example. Now, there's a couple of ways that you can actually do this. One is you can take the style mat that you want to use and use the, um, the the color page to be able to get rid of things and, and move them around, which is a reasonably robust way, but doesn't always work perfectly. However, the better way is actually to take the style map that you want to use and create your own alpha map from that. You see, the problem is you don't have an alpha channel with these style maps. So let's have a look at the style map that I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to my media page down here, and the style map I want to use is this one here. Okay, so that's the style map that I want to use. However, there's no point in right clicking and adding this as a mat because it is something that has no alpha channel. So it's going to be ineffective. So I'm just going to drag it into my media pool. You could right click and add it in. So it's actually in my media pool. Now, if I go back to my edit page, there's two things you can do. One is you can put it over the top and I'll show you that workflow in a minute. The better one in actual fact, if I get rid of this, is to take that style mat and drop it into my timeline. And there it is in my timeline. So there is the style mat. And all you need to do is actually export this with an alpha channel. So how do you create the alpha channel? And this is going to be the key for, for both approaches, really. You simply, with the item selected, go across to the color page. And on the color page, you are looking for this item here, which is the qualifier. So you've got lots of different options here. But really, what you want is the qualifier, and then you need to get rid of what you don't want. So if you've selected the qualifier, when you hover over the image, you get this picker. So pick either white or black. I'm going to pick the black at the moment. And you can see this is the end result. So the end result, where it's grey, will be transparent, where it's black won't be. That's the opposite way around to the way I want it. I want actually the black to be transparent, because I want to be able to see an image underneath. So all you need to do is invert it. This is the invert switch over here. So if I click invert, now the white is opaque, the black is transparent, and that's it. Well, it's not quite, because I cannot see the alpha output. So the final thing you must do is right-click and add an alpha output. And when you add the alpha output, then you take the alpha output from the node, the alpha channel that we've created, and drop it down to the alpha output, and that is it. Job done. If you're at all in doubt, pop back to the edit page, move the track mat up, or the item that we've created the uh, that we're going to use as a track mat, and drop the footage underneath. If you drop the footage underneath, you can clearly see it's worked. Now, you don't want to leave the footage in there, okay? So you just want to leave this as a single item. Now it's a single item, we need to export it. So to export it, with your timeline selected or whatever, you can go to your Deliver page, and then you're looking for something that supports an alpha channel. You can see here, I've chosen DPX. Okay, so DPX, and I've chosen one of the two options. Now you can an alpha 8-bit, or RGBA, actually seeing this as a black and white image, it's just as quick, probably quicker, to just go for alpha 8-bit. And then you go down here and you decide where you're going to save it. So I've used a custom file name, but you can use any of the other options. And decide where it's going to be, then you add it to the render queue, and then you export it. Okay, so it's over here in the render queue, it's click render, and you're going to find it's really quick. But once it's done, and I've already done it, but now it's done, it's very simple now to bring that in as an item that we can use. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and we can use this as a proper trap map because we've now got an alpha channel. So on my desktop is where I saved it, I think, yep, yeah, render tests, and there's the alpha only. So there is the item, and as I do a hover scrub through, you can see there it is. So this time, rather than just dragging it down here, all you need to do is right click, add to media pool as a mat. And there it is as a mat. Now I can go back to my edit page. I can delete this style mat from my timeline. 
and I can bring in my footage. So let's bring in the footage I want to work with. And I'm going to stick it in video layer 2. I'm going to trim it down somewhat. Um, the reason being that I want to have the other piece of footage underneath. In fact, let's put the other piece of footage underneath now, shall we? That's the footage I want to have underneath. And it's going to be this simple, really. Select the top item and go over to your color page. And in your color page, you need to right click on the node. So with the item at the top selected, right click. And then right at the bottom, we add a mat. We go across to the track mats. And we're looking for the one that we exported, which is that one there. And then we're almost there, but again, we've got to add that alpha output. So right click, add an alpha output, and take the little circle to the alpha output node. Job done. There you go. You've got one item inside another, and we can just pull through, and you can see the whole thing's worked. And because we've done it this way, we're not going to have problems with colors blending through or not looking quite right. So that's one way of doing it. There's another way of doing it. So let me show you the other way of doing it. I'm going to go back to my edit page and I'm going to choose the footage here. Right click on that and I'm going to go to create new timeline. And I'm going to call this one, and I'm going to call this style mat 2. Okay, there is the footage there. Now this time I do want the style mat. So there's the style mat. So this is the one without an alpha channel. Now I can put that over the top. And I can trim down the footage so they're over one another. And at the moment you can see nothing happens. Obviously, if you want to um, see this, you can select the mat at the top and then you can go to the inspector. If the inspector doesn't show, by the way, you can just click the inspector and then drop down from normal to multiply. Multiply will show the image inside of there. Okay. Add, by the way, will do the exact opposite. All right. But really, we want to multiply. We want to have it on top. So that's now provided the first item, but it's not going to work the way we think. Because if I was to select these and move them both up one, and I was to bring the second piece of footage that I want to use, which is this one underneath, and we were to trim that down, you'll see that it's not worked. And the reason it's not worked is because it's still respecting that there is no alpha channel. The black is still showing through. So to be able to achieve this result, all you need to do is select those top two, so dragging over them so they're both selected, right click and go to new compound clip. And it creates a new compound clip. Okay, so I'm going to call this my mat layer. And then enter and it's selected. Now you can select the mat layer, go over to the color page again and do what we did before. So I'm going to go to my qualifier, make sure I've got the qualifier selected, get rid of the black right click, go down to add an alpha output. Now the only thing I'll say here is, you can actually see if I zoom in a bit here, you'll see that it's not perfect. So if there is black in the shot and clearly there's black here, there's probably going to be black in his eyes, you're going to have holes in your mat. So you can then play down here and see if you can make things better by making it wider or narrower. You know, it's, it's up to you to play and see what really works and what doesn't work. That's probably a bit better. Probably go really wide on that. There you go. Nope, too far. Bring it in just a tad. There we go. So you're just going to have to play with this to get the right results. But once you think you've got the right result, then you can obviously you can take the alpha output, put it to the alpha output you've created, and it's done the exact opposite of what we want it to do. So what do we need to do with it selected? We go to the invert, click the invert, bang, you've got the end result that you want. Okay, so it really isn't a very complex workflow, to be honest. However, in my honest opinion, it's better if you can take the style mat in and just export an alpha channel, first of all. Just do a, a, a qualifier of the black and white image and you'll get a much clearer result. You can see that there are some issues with this particular one. If I go back to my first one, we go to style mat example, I think you're going to find this one's going to look a lot cleaner. You can see it clearly is a lot cleaner. So although you can do it the other way, I think you're going to find the best way is to take anything that's a black and white image, go to the qualifier, export a qualified version of it, which will be quick. Okay, It's, it's not a, a slow process because it's not a complex piece of footage. So even if it's fairly long, you're going to find it fairly quick because it's just black and white with an alpha channel. It'll export quickly and then use that and you'll get a much better result. 
but that's two ways you can take the rampant design style mats which you can download free from 4k3.com and have great fun. I hope you will go to rampantdesigntools.com and just enjoy playing with these tools. My name's Andrew Davis. I hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you very much for watching.